So while it might not feel like it outside, it is getting closer and closer and closer to our 2022 lawn season. And while we can't do much outside, there are some things that we still can be doing inside to prepare for our 2022 lawn season to make sure you're set up for success. Let's cover those today. Before we dive in, I just wanna say thank you for choosing this channel. Make sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that like button. If you have any questions throughout this whole video, drop them down in the comments. I'll be sure to get to as many as I possibly can. And be sure to turn that bell on so you can always be in the know of what's coming down the pipeline from my channel to yours so we can tackle our long journey together. I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again in a million other times in future seasons, but the very first thing that you should do when thinking about planning out your lawn is a soil test. And I've got a video linked up here that goes really in depth in terms of what a soil test is, where you can get one, why it's important and what it tells you. But high level, it'll tell you exactly what your lawn is seeking to be fed. If you think about our bodies, we feed it the wrong way, it reacts differently. Your lawn is no different. It will react in ways that you don't want it to if it's getting fed the food and the nutrients that it doesn't need. The second step is deciding what fertilizer you want. I'm not gonna sit here in between your preference and opinion. You are entitled to that. You can go apply whatever you want to your lawn. I'm gonna tell you generally how much to apply to your lawn and kind of the process I follow that has worked for me in years past, we go from there. The third step is understanding how much to apply of what we just sought out and what we're gonna be using for our program this year. And the only way to do that is yes we've got our soil test results that we'll reference later but we also have the square footage of our property or the area in which that we're going to cover with our fertilizer this year that we just found the only way to really do this is to walk off your property and do a quick math equation so you you, you measure the total property length by width and just measure what that is in square feet. You would sub do the same for all of the areas that you wouldn't apply to your lawn. So where your house sits or where your driveway sits, your landscaping beds, any patios or decks and anything like that. And you would subtract that square footage from your total lot square footage and you are left with a rough estimate of exactly how much square feet you need to cover for that product that you want. The next step within this is breaking that section down of the square footage that you just calculated into different 1,000 square foot chunks. And we do this really to make your life easier. On almost every single fertilizer bag that's geared towards residential properties, they are broken down into per 1,000 square feet recommendations. In other words, how much of this product should you apply per 1,000 square feet? And if you have that sectioned off and kind of outlined in a map somewhere, makes your life really easy every single Saturday or every other Saturday when you go out and apply your fertilizer product. You don't have to sit there and do a bunch of calculations every single time. You just know what it is. You've done it before. You're very proactive in your work. So highly recommend doing that prior to doing anything else. So we've taken the soil test, we've measured out our yard, we found our fertilizer product that we need. Now how do we actually calculate that? In calculating your deficiencies, we have three numbers on the front of the bag. It's N, P, and K. Nitrogen being the first one, phosphorus being the second, and potassium being the third. And they all represent the percentages of each of those nutrients that are within inside of that bag. Our soil test recommends that we lay down four pounds of nitrogen for this year, zero pounds of phosphorus, we're good with phosphorus, and it recommends two pounds of potassium. So we wanna stick within that ratio. If we drill that, those numbers down all the way to the most simplistic forms, we're left with a two zero one ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So we wanna stick with that when, in general when we go and find a product that's out there in an NPK ratio. So for example, we wanna stick with something that's like a 20, 0, 10, um, or something of the like. So for purposes of this conversation and this equation, we're gonna say we found a product that is a 32, 0, 16 product. So 32% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus, and 16% potassium. And let's say our square feet that we wanna apply rounds out to 11,000 square feet, just to keep numbers even. So the formula that we're gonna use is, is a couple step process, but it's gonna take the recommended amount of nitrogen in pounds divided by the percentage of nitrogen represented on that bag as a decimal, and we multiply that by our area of lawn for the product that will be applied and divide that by 1,000 square feet because that's what all of the recommendations are, and that's going to give us the total amount of fertilizer product to meet our recommendations based upon our soil test. So if we plug in all of these numbers, 
we know that we uh, have four pounds of night. We need four pounds of nitrogen from our soil test. That's how much that we want to apply this year. And we, the product that we're seeking has 32% of nitrogen represented on the bag as a decimal. So four divided by 0.32. We're going to multiply that by 11,000 square feet because that's the square footage that we have measured out in our lawn. And we're going to divide that by 1,000 square feet because that's what's recommended on the labels. This will spit out that we need 137 pounds of this product to supply our entire lawn based upon this example and what our soil tests have recommended. So that number just told us what we need for the entire year. What we want to find out is how much do we actually need per application. So for purposes of this conversation, we're going to go and keep this equation relatively simplistic, but we'll give examples and you can plug in your numbers so you can kind of meet what you want to do. So in theory and in general, you wouldn't want to apply really more than one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet in a singular application. Uh, in general, you could do anywhere from 0.5, so half a pound to a pound of nitrogen. Maybe in the fall, you might go a little bit heavier um, just to, to kind of give it what it needs before it goes to sleep. But in theory, for this example, we're going to stay between 0.5 and one pound of nitrogen uh, per application. To make things really easy, our soil test recommended that we needed four pounds of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet that needs to be applied to our lawn to meet our deficiencies. Let's take that four pounds and just divide it out by four applications. Thus, we're applying one pound of nitrogen per application per 1,000 square feet. Just makes things relatively simplistic. So it's good that we've got the one pound per application and all of that, but how much actual product is that? that you need to put inside of your spreader and then go apply into your lawn. Let's make this really easy. There's three things that we need to consider. It's what we have, what we want, and what we need. What we have is the actual product itself. And let's assume that the product, the fertilizer that we found of our 32016 comes in 40 pound bags, and that's what we're given. We want one pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet of the product that we just got. So how do we calculate that? Now that gets into what we need. How much of that fertilizer do we put per 1,000 square feet, so the actual poundage of product, into our spreader and we fertilize? How do we figure that out? So how that's calculated is actually a lot easier than people think. All we need to take is that desired pound of nitrogen or the desired weight of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet and divide it by the percentage of what's actually inside of that bag, and it will give us the exact amount of weight in product that we need to go put inside of 1,000 square feet inside of our application. So what we need to do is just take the one pound of desired nitrogen that we need to go apply and divide that by 32% in decimal form. So it's one pound divided by 0.32 and it will spit out 3.125 pounds of actual product that we need to go apply inside of our lawn to meet the deficiencies of everything that came back from our soil test. There you have it. You've got a general direction of how to get a lawn plan together. You gotta get the soil test. You gotta know what fertilizer you want for your lawn. That's a preference. You gotta know how much square footage we're gonna be covering inside of your lawn that you wanna cover this year. That will give you enough information to then go calculate how much actual product that we need based upon the soil test recommendations and the deficiencies in your lawn. And then we can then calculate that by application based upon how many applications you wanna plan out with your lawn program this year. My goal is that this helped a little bit in understanding how to go about tackling a lawn care program. Once you do this, it saves a lot of money, saves a lot of time, and a lot of head scratching in the hardware stores and the big box stores. Um, I'm Ope. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comment section. I will be sure to get to as many as I possibly can. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, click that like button, and make sure to turn that bell on so you know exactly what's coming down the pipeline from my channel to yours so we can go tackle our lawn journey together. We'll see you guys next time.